this past weekend we did some cool stuff but I don't actually know what we did yet because it hasn't happened yet because I filmed these during the week and then I put them together during the weekend there's my secret so last week I talked about culture one of the challenging things about this program is actually getting to immerse yourself in authentic culture. Yes, we take weekend trips, but we're often with a tour guide. Some of the tour guides haven't been that great, couldn't really understand them, or they just kept saying everything was old and special, which is great, but I don't understand why. So I want to give you some tips to how you can go out and find this culture on your own when you're here. Try the food. One of the things that's helped me is just say, eh, why not? I'll order it. It's different. Apparently we ate donkey one time. Didn't realize I was eating anything different. Thought it was chicken, but it was good. Duck was, has by far been my favorite. Go places. Just even if there's no destination in mind, just walk somewhere. And I find that going by yourself helps a lot because it kind of forces you out of your comfort zone. You know, turn your cell phone off get to know the space around you and observe the people and you can learn so much just by observing others. Do things that scare you. Take the opportunity of being in a new place surrounded by people who will probably never see you again, especially in a city with so many people, and take that opportunity and do something that you never would otherwise try. You can learn a lot that way. Enjoy the little moments. This morning I got coffee at the coffee shop next door and I ordered an iced mocha she knew what I was talking about, but then she started speaking in Chinese, and I, of course, was like, I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're saying. And then she pointed to the ice mocha, and she, she was teaching me how to say ice, which I think is ping, but she said a lot of other words around it, so I'm not sure. But it was that interaction that kind of, it made me feel like she wanted to teach me, and I wanted to learn. And so that's the other huge thing that I wish I would have taken better advantage of from the beginning was try to learn Chinese. It's intimidating and it's very hard, but it's so worth it. And even if it's just, I learned how to count to 10, and it's probably the proudest accomplishment I've had in terms of learning Chinese. My biggest suggestion is don't let your hectic schedule scare you. I was feeling very anxious at the beginning of this trip because there was so much schedule that it was overbearing and it was stressing me out and I felt like I wasn't getting the chance to go out and do the things that I wanted to do and, and see the places that I wanted to see and really immerse myself in the culture. You have to just say, you know what? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go do this for me because I, I'm curious about this part of Chinese culture or I want to experience something different. I wish I had the time to record this part after my weekend because this weekend hasn't happened yet so I can't give you the cool preview of like, check out what I did this week because I haven't done anything cool yet. I'll speak in past tense. So we, have, we had a hackathon this weekend. Um, it's six university teams that are coming up with campaigns to help combat allergies in China, so to help educate the public about allergies and to also help people find resources. This is what I did this weekend. 